Ready? Last one. Last ultrasound. 38 weeks today. And then we, and then we see, actually see him. Yeah. Hi! So we just finished our 38 week pregnancy scan update <laughs> for his growth. It's our final ultrasound before we give birth in five days. Oh my god, five days, five days. Can you believe it? Five days. Had, so what'd you think of the ultrasound? I'm so glad you came to the last one though. I don't know. What'd you think of it? Did it look cute? Yeah. <laughs> right now, his head's down, but he's rotated so his spine is to the left. His butt is up here. He has one foot here, and then the other foot's like way down up here by his, well, down or up by his face. And when they were trying to show us his face, he was like covering his face like this, and he was like sucking. So it's like, he was, it's almost as if he's like, Mom, you're so embarrassing. Oh my gosh. So yeah, he was really cute. So now we're off to see the OB to find out the final results of the girl skin. He was 26 percentile last time around so if he's right around that area I'm happy however I haven't gained a lot of weight last time I only gained half a pound last week so we'll see and right now I'm hungry so we'll see all right let's go happy with the results yeah do you have any questions are you worried I know what I'm worried about mm. yeah exactly so we just finished seeing our OB and the good news is he increased another 2%. So now he went from 26 to 28%. I gained two and a half pounds. So he told me I'm putting the weight all in all different er all the wrong areas. I told him that if he ever figures out an invention that can do fat relocation, I'll be one of his first patients. And that the weight is coming from um, my workouts. And he's like, oh yeah, squats? I'm like, yes, my squats are getting in and out of the be oh, bed every day. Now Nato is just over 3 kgs, which I think means that he's around 6.6 6 pounds. We got some paperwork that we will need for the cesarean on Sunday. And so something I have to do that I didn't, listen to, I didn't know that I had to do, I actually have to get some blood work done for on Friday so that they have my... I don't know, blood information here at the hospital um, in case I need a transfusion mid-operation, I guess. We need to be at the hospital for 6 a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. we have to be at the hospital, which means I have to leave the house probably by 5.15 in the morning at the very latest. And we have to go through Emerge since the main doors will not be open yet at 6 in the morning on a Sunday. So I guess that means that we're going to drop way off on Saturday to my mom's place. Yeah. So, yay. At least now we know. And the operation starts at 8 a.m. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. The doctor also told me that the because this is a scheduled C-section, there's actually going to be less pain this time around compared to the unscheduled one that I had last time with Ginevra. So that is definitely a bonus and we might even be able to go home earlier than what I first anticipated. So I definitely overpacked. Yeah. He said that if I'm feeling okay, I might even be able just to stay like overnight or two nights. Yes. Because I'm not actually going into labor labor this time. So I'm really happy about well, that. Last time was also Oh yeah, yeah, last time because they thought that she had jaundice. Too, because I ate too many carrots right before giving birth. For like the final weeks up to her birth, I just had this huge craving for carrots. So I ate carrots and drank carrot juice and it was pretty intense how much carrots I ingested during that time. I became Roger Rabbit. Okay, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. The next video will be, I don't know what it will be. I'll figure that out when the time comes. But anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.